Hi everyone, it's Emily Wishall with Wishall Wellness Live in Alignment. I am here on day four of my 10 day detox and just wanted to make a quick video to um, catch everyone in on my progress. Typically when I've done this, uh, I've done the 10 day transformation three or four times in the past and typically day four for me is my most vibrant energetic day. So it's interesting today that actually I felt pretty tired today. I was um, and so it, I found I wasn't expecting that. I feel like my body's really detoxing, letting go of some things, and so that's kind of putting in the tired. So that was unexpected, but interesting. I'm feel a little better tonight, but I was able to take some time and some space in my day um, and cut out a few to dos and put them on the schedule for next week and had some self care time. So that is how I'm feeling today. I've thus far, I've only had two of my power shakes. Um, I don't feel like I'm probably going to have the third. I just feel like my body isn't really wanting anything more right now. Um, I have had a couple flex foods. I ate a grapefruit and I ate some broccoli this morning with coconut oil and Himalayan sea salt. And I've taken my amino acids three times. So I did skip a flex food and I have skipped a um, power shake. Uh, maybe I didn't really quite follow the every two hours having something scheduled today, so that may be contributing to why I'm tired, but um, and also because I didn't have those two extra things. I'm just feeling that my body doesn't want them and it just kind of wants to rest, so I'm going to let it do that. What I have over here is not wine. <laughs> uh, this is the apothecary, which is a part of the 10-day transformation. I didn't know I was just going to take a drink of that. It's so good. So you have the apothecary every day about an hour or so before bed. And I wanted to share with you all in today's video a little bit about the apothecary and why it's really an essential part of the 10-day transformation. First of all, not only does it taste yummy and you can drink it in a wine glass, um, which is kind of fun when you're not having wine, but the apothecary, it's made from sour or tart cherries which are nature's most dense superfoods. They are super high in antioxidants. They have a 7,000 on the ORAC, in ORAC units. What does that mean? ORAC stands for oxygen radical, I'm looking over at my notes to help me, oxygen radical absorbance capacity. That's a lot of, whoa, what does that mean? Well, it they basically, this, the, those units are what fight off free radicals in the body that allows the prevention and even potentially the reverse of premature aging, so from both inside and outside. So it's oxidation in the body that that's what creates aging and that's what creates disease. So these are going to help to fight that. In this apothecary, it also contains a natural source of melatonin. So added bonus, that's why you drink it an hour before bed. It's going to help um, promote restful sleep and really help um, to balance your circadian rhythm. And, you know, when we're doing a detox, I always continue to ask myself, well, why am I doing this? What is my intention? And, um, you know, a big part of it is, is healing, right? And to let go of toxicity. So having really good sleep is essential. So this drink helps to support that and it's when our body is in a full deep sleep that our nervous system is really able to relax and let go and that our bodies really can go into a healing state so I love this drink it's one of my favorite parts of the transformation and I still drink it um, when I'm not detoxing as well just not every day so that is my day four update. Thanks for checking in. And as always, I'll have comments you can um, below where um, I'll have a link to my website, have a link to my Perium page. And yeah, so I'll check in tomorrow and let you all know how day five goes. So day four was overall, my energy was a little lower than normal. Um, wasn't expected. So all right, take care.